is hot in Canberra right now, which is surprising because it's Canberra. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see, I have this clothes rack behind me. So I hope that gives you a little hint of what we're doing today. So I'm doing a try on clothing haul today. I recently picked up a few different things from Nasty Girl. I haven't actually bought anything from them before, but I don't know what it is. I've just seen so many people buy clothes from Nasty Girl recently and I thought I would give it a try. Um, I don't know if you guys can see a little bit of this theme with the colors and I also tried to stick to, even though it's hot today, clothes that I would definitely be able to wear in winter. <laughs> so, with that being said, let's get started. I'm going to be like trying on the pieces as I talk about them because I feel like that worked a lot better in my Zaffle haul than like when I lift stuff up and then like cut to a try on clip. Um, before we get started, if you do like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I guess it just makes sense. Um, hopefully I can do more testing videos coming up, but they are the most expensive videos to do, so well, we shall see, especially seeing as I'm probably not going to be able to be working soon <laughs> because of everything that's going on. In saying that, I hope you guys are all staying safe. If you are staying home, I said this in my Instagram post, like if you are staying home, just be like appreciative that you have the opportunity and the financial situation to be able to stay at home or like you are able to work from home. I put it on my Instagram story. Some people are in a situation where they actually have to go to work because if they don't go to work, they don't pay bills and then they don't have a house or they don't have food. So some people kind of have to expose themselves to the virus in order to actually keep themselves like going. So if you are able to stay home, just be appreciative that you are able to do that. But yeah, I also wanted to mention I turned my lighting right up because you guys absolutely roasted me in my Zaffle haul. I am so sorry. I did not realize it was that dark. And I had a couple comments saying like, how did you not realize when you were editing? And I don't know, it must have been night when I was editing, which it normally is when I edit. So in comparison to like, we have really bad lights like in our house, obviously, as you guys can tell. Um, in comparison to like the really dim lights in our house at night while I was editing, the screen probably looks really bright. So I put my ring light up the whole way. If it's still not bright enough, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do about it. But I have rambled on about every single thing under the sun so far, so let's get started. Okay, so the first piece of clothing is actually these pants. Obviously, you can't see them right away. I will pan the camera down in a second, but they are these like leather. I'll put like a photo of like, I'll put all the photos as I try stuff on like of the website so you guys can like have a look at what it looked like like when I saw it when I was buying it, if that makes sense. But they are just like these leather flare they're like obviously they're fake leather not real leather they're flare but that doesn't necessarily mean they're tight on my thigh and then they flare out they're like loose but then they flare out even more um i'll see if i can move the camera down so this is what they look like they are quite baggy and they are a bit i don't know if you guys can see they are a bit like long for me but when i'm wearing heels or i wore um adidas trainers today they were all right they did grace the floor like a little bit they're really nice they have a really weird belt it took me ages to work out like because when it first comes it comes like this is dangling so you obviously tie it up like normal but this actually wraps around and then you've got a second like hole for the button and then that just kind of goes back in. if I can actually do it like that um the belt is a bit loose like I would say that it's not really a belt but yeah and there's a little bit of gapping I got these in a size 6 so I wouldn't want to obviously get any smaller because they're really long but they could be tied around the waist and the actual like band that they had made for it to like be a belt is loose so it's not really like cinching me in. Apart from that I would say that they fit really well, they're comfy, they're so comfy, it's just really hot today so I kind of regret wearing them. They are making me sweat. Yeah that is those ones, they're really cute, um, they've got really deep pockets, or not really deep pockets but got pockets at least which some of the other pants that I got in my haul don't you know why don't we just have pockets in stuff anyway so those are the first ones um and i really love them i don't know if i should rate everything I did that in my zaffle haul but i don't really know if this is like the type of video to rate stuff maybe i'll just give them a thumbs up or a thumbs down so these are a thumbs up 
Okay, the next thing that I'm going to be trying on is this long sleeve satiny like burnt orange colored shirt. It's also got these tie ups. It's um, cropped. It's got kind of elastic to pull in so that it's tight at the bottom and it gives you kind of like that puff as well. But yeah, I picked this one up because I really, really like the color. Um, I just thought it would suit me, I guess. Yeah, this is the next one. Alrighty, so this one, oh, I've got a message. Okay, so this top, I never really go for this color. As you can see, I've gone for two in this haul, but I actually like really love it. I love how silky it is. It feels so soft and it's really nice. It feels good quality, um, apart from the fact that you've kind of got this band underneath. Um, and if I lift my arms up, like it kind of folds like over, if that makes sense. But I doubt this is a kind of top that I would go, like I don't really go clubbing anymore anyway. So it's not really a top that I'm going to have to like be dancing and stuff in. This is definitely a top that I would wear like out to dinner, like on a date night or something like that. I actually love the colour so much more than I thought I would. I was saying to Clancy the other day, I think I'm just like starting to work out what I actually want to wear. I had so many florally like girly dresses like when I did my Princess Polly haul a while ago. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below as well. Go check it out. But a lot of those outfits were really like, not that this stuff isn't girly, but like that was just like on another level, florals, dresses, skirts with love hearts and stuff on it. And I just think that like it really wasn't me. I spent a lot of summer not feeling like comfortable wearing that stuff. So it kind of never got worn. But I think I'm starting to work out what works for me. And I really think it's this grungy, but still classy, like, style. If anyone follows M Davis, I've mentioned her before because she is serious inspiration for my Instagram feed at the moment. But her style is, like, kind of what I'm into at the moment. There's also another couple influencers. I've really, really forgotten their names. But I'll put their Instagram handles here that um, I have a lot of style inspiration from. That kind of Parisian style, I guess, and blogger style. It's kind of what I'm really into at the moment. Um, but also, <laughs> if you haven't already followed me on Instagram, this is what it's looking like at the moment. As I keep mentioning, I'm trying to redo it in that blogger format. It's kind of going well. We're getting there. I have so many posts already planned. So it's going to take a while to get like at least a little bit of it looking how I want. But this is how it's looking at the moment. So head over and follow me on there if you have not done so already. Um, I'd appreciate that. But anyway, I love this top. Oh my god. And it's got this little tie up bit as well, which I think just adds another... Um, element of detail. The fact that it's long sleeved obviously is going to keep me warm in the winter. It is cropped so that aspect not so much but again pair it with some high waisted pants, put on a coat and you're fine. Normally in the winter once you go in somewhere they have heating so you'll be fine. But yes definitely date night, definitely very classy and very nice and shiny and elegant as well. <laughs> I love this, so this is getting a thumbs up. Okay, the next thing we're we'll trying on are these kind of checkery type like business pants, I guess you could say. So they've got like blue in them. I don't know if you guys can see that. I didn't actually notice that on the website, but I really kind of love that detailing. It's like brown, black and blue, and I think the colors go well together. Again, these ones aren't gonna be like straight leg they're gonna be like i mean skinny they're gonna be straight leg but yeah this is the next piece okay so i probably wouldn't wear these together although looking at it now it doesn't look like too bad if this was like your style oh move the camera down okay so these are the pants like i said before they are like straight they're like a bit loose and stuff these ones are a much better length i think i got these in a size eight which is surprising considering the other ones are a six and they're really long. So I don't know if I accidentally got them from like the tall section. But these are really cute. I think, yeah, this is definitely like I'd pair it with like a black jacket. Um, I do have a black jacket in this haul that I could potentially pair these with. But yeah, they are super, super cute. I also can't remember like what, how much everything was. So I'll put it like up here. How much everything, every item was, and all that kind of stuff. I love the pattern on these. Like I said before, they're super comfy. They do up like the opposite way, if that makes sense. Like the bit with the that goes in the button is like on top instead of underneath. I don't know how to explain it. It's like 
they've done it made it different so I'm still getting used to like using my hand the other way to do the button I don't know if that's gonna influence any of your decisions but anyway they are super super cute Alrighty, on to the next piece. So the next thing I got is this kind of, I don't know if it's like woolen, it's really, really thick, but it's like a cardigan top, I guess. And it's got these little tie-ups here, so like you're not supposed to wear anything underneath it. Although I actually wore this to work the other day and I obviously couldn't have my cleavage on show at work. So I did just put a black singlet underneath this and it looked totally fine. But it's just like, yeah, this little like woolen cardigan tie up shirt so I'll quickly put that one on okay so I officially picked the worst day ever to do a winter try on clothing haul because I'm absolutely sweating anyway this is what the shirt looks like like I said before coming into winter or if you have work or anything you can wear stuff underneath this if you had like a low cut long sleeve top you could just have like the black or like the color showing underneath but you wouldn't actually see it like from this from this neckline it is super 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 thick like when I first saw this I didn't realize like how good quality it was gonna be but yes yeah, it's like a super thick material but yeah no this is really cute did I give the pants a thumbs up the pants are a thumbs up this top is a thumbs up also it's like not exactly white it's like off-white a little bit but it's still like super cute and you can see my tattoo but obviously that won't be showing all the time because I'd probably wear it with um, something underneath. That is that one. Okay, so the next piece is actually a jacket and we're going back to the burnt orange but this is like a hella long jacket um, and it's got these really gorgeous pockets as well. I think you could also get this in green but they weren't like... The green one wasn't on sale as much as this one was, so I got this one, but I thought it would go... I probably wouldn't wear it with my burnt orange shirt, but in terms of like the colour scheme for this haul, it definitely goes. So I'll pop this one on. Oh my god, okay, so I love this. I obviously wouldn't wear it with what I'm wearing now, but that is beside the point. It's so nice. It also comes with like a little belt, so if you were wanting to wear it loose, you could. But if you were wanting to kind of tie it up, I don't think it has like belt holes though. So you just have to kind of tie it up over the top of the jacket. But I'll zoom you guys down. I'll zoom you guys down. I'll move the camera down so you guys can see like the full thing a little bit better. So yeah, it's like super long. It's not like that pleather, fake leather material. So by any chance there is sun, which there's probably not going to be in winter in Canberra, um, it's going to keep you warm because it's like a material that's going to like absorb the heat like my leather pants that I was sweating in before so you can wear it closed this would like look really good if you dressed it up with like if you wore a dress like a little black dress under this and then maybe like heels you could even just wear like a hoodie underneath it some pants and like some joggers or something but yeah or you could also wear it just like open like this so it's a really nice like material it's obviously like that fake leather so it's not gonna be as soft as real leather um, but it's a really good alternative especially like for animal cruelty and stuff it's obviously not real leather um, not that I can talk because I almost bought a $420 mink jacket the other day but I didn't buy it and that's the point so <laughs> yes yeah, really gorgeous I love the color it's the same color as the top so I like the top so I'm gonna like this um, it's a great size I think I got it in an A I think I've got everything except the like pleather pants in an A um, except I thought I got them in an 8, but they arrived as a 6. So I got everything in, in an 8, if anyone's wondering about size. Um, and yes, I'll have the prices obviously up on the screen somewhere. But yes, this is a big thumbs up. Okay, on to another pair of pants. Now, this is the last pair of pants that I got. I did get like a lounge set, so I'm going to put that on afterwards. But this is the last pair of pants I got, and this is probably... The most out there color I decided to order. They do like this section like from here to here looks extremely large so we'll see how that goes. They are also again that kind of fake leather material. I don't know if you guys can see a theme with this. I have a lot of the same colors and textures in this haul but I'll pop these on. So also my eyes are going funny because of the light. <laughs> I'll zoom you guys. Oh, I keep saying zoom. Move you guys down. Okay, so out of everything, I think these are my least favorite thing of the haul. They um just fit a bit weird. I think I probably want to get these in a size down just because it is like really like gapping as well. Also, they're really baggy and like 
I wouldn't mind baggy, but these are actually like um, elasticated and like tight at the bottom. So that kind of like says to me that they should be a little bit tighter than they are. I like the color. I'm just not sure about it. So I think out of everything, so I think like out of everything, they are my least favorite, but they're still cute. I could still wear them with like trainers. I definitely wouldn't wear it with this shirt. I don't think they like the fabrics match each other or anything. I'm gonna do like a this. Like they're okay, but they're not a thumbs up, but they're also not like a thumbs down. So take that however you will. Not my favorite thing I bought, but I think I would have to like decide whether to send them back or Maybe try a different size or just like put up with them and like get creative with how I'm going to wear them. So they get like a this, like a, mm, I'm not sure. They're not bad, but they're also not like the best. So there you go. Okay, so the next thing is actually a dress. It looks like it's a jacket, but it's a dress. So I'll do all the buttons up and everything. But again, that leather, that fake leather is my winter look, obviously. And apparently from what I bought today, so yes, I'm gonna quickly pop that one on. Okay, so this is the dress. I actually like super like it. I don't know whether or not, I don't know, does it look better? Like if I had it done all the way up, can you guys let me know? Cause I'm not sure and Clancy didn't know either. Does it look better when like all the buttons are done up like this? Or does it look better when it's like loosened? I kind of feel like it looks better when they're done up, to be honest. Maybe it's just because my hair's down, I'm not sure. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, if this looks better or if it's like, if it's open and, and if that looks better. Um, I'll move the camera down. Um, so I haven't got all the buttons done up on the way down and it's also got slits in the side. Um, not in the back, not in the back. So just the side and you can choose to do the buttons all the way down, but I haven't. The model in the photo didn't have it all the way down up and she was wearing like, I think she was wearing boots or trainers or something with it. And it looked super nice. This would be really cute with like a little bag. Like I would even wear this with trainers or you could dress it up with like a really nice pair of like really delicate strappy heels. Um, but yeah, this is like really nice. Again, I'm sweating because it's hot. But it's got this little belt on it as well, so you can like cinch your waist in, or you could have it like baggy and kind of more straight, depending on like if you want to accentuate your hips or not. I like to because it's the smallest part of my body, so it actually makes me look like I have some shape when I kind of don't everywhere else. Yes, yeah, so this one gets a thumbs up. Also, like long sleeve, you can do it up, whatever. Good in the winter, this would be this is like a good dress just in terms of keeping warm as well um i don't know you could always just put stockings on as well i guess if you wanted to i probably wouldn't just with the leather but it's up to you this one definitely gets a thumbs up okay so the next thing i got was actually like a loungish type of set so it comes with this little like high neck halter um crop top it's in that sage green same as the pants and then it also comes with i don't have a proper hanger for this but it also ooh, comes with like these flare pants. Um, I have tried these on and oh my God, I love them. So I'll pop them on for you so I can show you. Okay, now this is tight. So if you can see my underwear line, please don't mind that. But this is a little halter neck top. In terms of the winter, this is probably a good one to layer as well. You could always even chuck like a white sleeve long top underneath it as long as it probably it would probably look good if like didn't interfere with the neckline and just like came out i have a little white t-shirt that i normally wear like a black single over that i thought would be cute to wear this over as well i think the real start of this outfit is the pants so i'll move the camera down ken oh you guys can't even see them properly but these pants oh my god they are so fun i love them they make my thighs look really good because they're really tight and they flare out. They look like I'm in Mamma Mia. I love these and they're really comfy. Um, I If I was going to wear these out, I'd probably wear them like with trainers. Like I don't know if I would dress this up too much. I mean, you could. This would be cool like if you were with heels, I guess. You, could, you can dress anything up and down. But yes, I thought that they were super fun. I love the flare on them. Oh, Clancy wasn't too sure about these, but I freaking loved them. Super comfy. 
yeah I wouldn't say it's the thickest material if you can get away with it you could wear like thermals or something underneath it in terms of like winter but I probably style this with a coat which I'm about to put on in a second and probably white trainers or something like that probably my Adidas trainers or my white Nike Air Force ones as well could go with it as well um, but I definitely got this as more of like a casual lounging around the house or maybe even going to uni although um, no one's going to uni at the moment but yes anyway love this also makes my um, booty look like I have a booty which I don't because I haven't been to the gym forever last but definitely not least because I think this is one of my favorite things in the whole haul is this long fake leather again jacket it's not as long as the other one but it's lovely I love it and it's kind of got like a snake skinny print on it as well I don't know if you guys can see that um but I'll quickly pop this one on do you reckon I could do a cool transition should I try it I haven't done it for any of them but like should I try it this is me attempting a tiktok transition into my clothes let's see how how it goes I don't know if it will work but let's see Why was that kind of like perfect? <laughs> okay, so I don't know if that worked, but at least I tried. <laughs> if you want to see cool transitions like that more, let me know. Um, but yes, oh, this is this has got to be my favorite thing in the haul. I love this. I love oversized jackets because I love being able to chuck a hoodie underneath them and then you can dress it up with the jacket um, and then you're still warm and you can wear whatever you want under the hoodie you could wear like a raggedy t-shirt or like an ugly thermal or something like that you've got your hoodie on you've got your jacket you're gonna dress it up no one's even gonna know and you're gonna be warm especially in Canberra it gets fucking cold here it hasn't got cold yet which I'm surprised but it's coming also did I give these a thumbs up the lounge set is definitely thumbs up this I love Again, I would even wear this jacket with this set. Put on some trainers, head to uni. I would wear this jacket with the burnt orange. I'd wear this jacket with these pants and something else. If you wanted to like double up, you could wear this jacket, a really plain top, and then the leather pants as well. Or you could wear it with a leather dress and just be like full out in everyone's face leather. Leather, fake leather. But yes, this is my favorite thing. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Can you guys see the whole thing? Also, I love this pattern. I mean, this, um, yeah, I guess you could say pattern. A bit more of a look at it. It does have buttons and stuff, so you can do it up, but the buttons are, like, right on the edge, so it will just do up to here. It's not one of those ones where the buttons are, like, on the side so that, like, you, like, you pull it in to do up. It just is here. I'd probably just wear it open because I would more likely than not be wearing something warm underneath it anyway. But yes, this is a definite thumbs up and is probably my favourite thing that I got from the haul. Alright guys, um, if you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. I am currently sweating. It's hot and I just tried on so many winter clothes. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope it was worth me doing that. Um, yes, if you did like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe down below if you have not already. I guess, please stick around on my channel. I know that my Zaffle video was a one-off where heaps of people subscribe. But I hope you guys enjoy my regular content as well. If you like it. I do a lot of day in my life videos. I'm currently filming a weekend in my life. I'm going to a 21st birthday. So that's fun. That video will be up after this one. Stick around for that one. Make sure you go and check it out as well. But yes, also if you want to, um, I would greatly appreciate it. And um, you can go follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and my Depop will be linked down below. If you don't want to follow me on all three, at least go follow me over on my Instagram. Um, I would really appreciate it. I'm the most active on my Instagram. And as I've been mentioning in all of my previous videos, I'm redoing my Instagram, so I'm trying to make it a little bit nicer. So if that's the kind of content that you guys like, make sure you go and follow me over there. But apart from this, first time trying Nasty Girl, first time ever ordering Nasty Girl, I'm going to give it a massive thumbs up. It was just those one pair of pants that I wasn't too sure on, but I didn't hate them. So overall, 
I reckon I will definitely be buying from this brand more often. So if I do, I will definitely give you guys more hauls, even if they're full on ones like this or if they are mini ones within week in my life or day of my life videos, I will definitely do that for you guys. But this is probably going to be my rotation of clothes through winter with a kind of selection of other basic bits and pieces that I already own. But this is probably going to be predominantly it. Also stick around on my Instagram. Um, for I guess photos in this kind of stuff definitely be trying to do more aesthetic photos to be able to post on my Instagram in this kind of stuff I think what I've ordered would definitely go with the aesthetic that I'm trying to go for but anyway again rambling at the start rambling at the end like this video if you enjoyed it please and I will see you guys on the next one bye